press the bell icon on the YouTube app to ensure you never miss a new video from News Laundry. Acting on a complaint filed by eminent poet and scientist Mr. Gaur Raza, the National Broadcasting Standards Authority has issued a ruling for uh, news channel Z News to pay up a fine of rupees 1 lakh and broadcast an apology on September 8th during prime time at 9 pm. We have with us today uh, the complainant himself, Mr. Gaur Raza. Thank you for joining NL Interviews and welcome to NL Interviews. Thank you for welcoming me. <laughs> So, first of all, sir, tell us about the complaint and you mentioned in your complaint that uh, only bits and pieces of your uh, poem were broadcast and some bits were edited out. So, could you give, throw us some light, could you give us an explanation on what the entire, you said you recited three poems that day and so what were those poems about and what were the portions that were edited out? See, there is a tradition of very strong tradition of Mushaira and Kavi Sammelan in the country. Mm. And if you see uh, at the tradition, then three kinds of poetry is recited. Mm. Broad categories I am talking about. One is love poetry where poets uh, talk about love and uh, it's, it's that genre. Yeah. The other is uh, what is called Vyang in Hindi. Vyang. Right? Vyang mm. in Hindi, where you laugh at things and most of the time you criticize the powers. Through and man. through, through, yeah. Uh, the third one is, which is resistance poetry, and it's a very strong tradition. Mm that people write, all, all poetry is protest poetry, that is what I believe. Mm. But this resistance and protest poetry is also a part of the tradition. Okay. Where you in a very uh, direct or indirect way, you comment on what is happening in the society mm. and the, criticize the powers mm. that be. The other thing, other part of the tradition which is very beautiful is that you dedicate your poetry mm. to present era, mm. to an individual mm. or to a collective. Okay. Right. So the first poem which I recited was a very recent poem. I had written three days back just mm. before Mushaira, mm. which is a ghazal which is talking about that there is a danger in the society that mm. fascism can take over. Okay. All the couplets were dedicated to that idea. Okay. That there are very strong trends in society mm. which lead you to the conclusion that we are at a turning point where fascism can take over mm. the country. Mm. The second poem was an old poem which I had written on the killing of a uh, very famous uh, playwright and actor. He happened to be a relative of mine, Savdar Hashmi. So we were intensely disturbed when he was killed. Mm. But that's about 15, 20 years back that I mm. wrote that poem. Okay. The third poem which I recited was related to a ghastly incident where two correspondents, American correspondents, were killed by American army mm. in Iraq and uh, those who killed them were laughing at, at the whole incident. Okay. Right? Mm. Those who shot them mm. as if it was an electronic game that they were playing. So that intensely disturbed me. My poetry is always related to, I don't do poetry just for the heck of it. Mm. My poetry is related to really? most of the incidents that have happened and intensely affected the world and its conscience. Mm. Uh, so I recited these three, three poems. The crime that I committed was that uh, when I was reciting the first poem, in the last couplet I dedicated to, it to Kanhaiya okay. and took his name. Mm. In the second poem, I talked about, just before that, I took the name of a famous young boy who was forced to commit suicide. 
hmm. right in Hyderabad University. Hmm. This was probably the crime that I committed. Okay. It wasn't the poetry. But I think that it was made a peg only. It was, uh, they were waiting for something to happen. Something of this kind. That was enough to call you Desh Virodhi Shire. Yeah, I think it was an attack not merely on me. Of course it was on me because I had to face the consequences after that. Mm. And they named me personally, so it was attack. But I still considered that I was only a peg. And the Mushaira was only a peg. They wanted to probably attack the tradition of Mushaira, the tradition of resistance. Mm -hmm. And uh, the result was that for this one and a half years, people were scared. Mm -hmm. The poets started choosing their poetry, mm -hmm. avoiding what they had written mm -hmm. or they have written, mm -hmm. uh, which could be construed as resistance yes. poetry. Mm -hmm. The organizers of Mushaira and Kavi Sammelan also were on the back foot now. Mm -hmm. They were inviting only those who were conformist, those who would not go beyond certain limits. Okay. So, and also you stated in your complaint that it endangered your life. In what ways and how? See, as quickly as uh, in, in four or five hours, Hmm. After the broadcast? After the broadcast. It was, it started, they started probably broadcasting it at 6 o'clock. Hmm. Okay. Which is when I received a call from somebody, from who, a friend okay. in Rajasthan who saw it. Okay. And he informed me the first that something of this kind is happening. But he was very happy that my poems are reaching to lakhs of people. <laughs> it's <laughs> only <laughs> after... It's that way. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's only <laughs> after about 15 seconds that uh, I received another call from a neighbor here mm. who was very disturbed and he said that something of this kind is happening and then I went and saw and all that. 10 o'clock somebody writes, which I saw next day, mm. writes an email, which is a very nasty email, which calls me uh, jihadi and all kinds of names and says that I should be killed and I should be shot and I am a scientist, I should be kept away from all the secrets, this, that, etc, etc. So they started attacking not only personally me and calling for killing me, but also were saying that I should not be, I should be thrown, thrown out of job. It was very, very um, uh, blatant. Kind. And then hate mails started and okay. things happened. So it took you a month to file a complaint with the NBSA, right? Yes. So why, why was N, why NBSA? Why was it your first option? It's, it's very simple that as a person I stand for complete freedom of press, hmm. unquestioned hmm. with no riders, hmm. right? No intervention from outside should be even thought of when we are talking about freedom of press. Hmm. No intervention of government, no intervention of court, no intervention of laws, this, that, etc. Et hmm. But remember, that freedom always comes with responsibility. responsibility. They cannot be de-linked. Mm -hmm. So when media starts faltering, it shows that there is a deep malice within the society. Mm -hmm. There is some kind of sickness which is deep-rooted. And it's, it's, it's very dangerous for any society when media becomes sick. It's extremely dangerous for the democracy. It's extremely dangerous for the common man, common citizen. Because one, that media should by and large stand with the opposition, not with the powers. Mm. And also stand with the town rotten. Mm. Because these are the voiceless people. Who media should become their voice. Yes. And that is what democracy is all about. For the past 20 years, I think there are trends that I was talking in the first poem that media is becoming more and more aligned with the powers. Mm. The ruling party, the ruling elite, the ruling classes in the country. So, what do you do in this kind of situation? You don't attack media per se. 
But you talk about this sickness, right? And if a channel, which is very high TRP channel, mm. they claim, True. Yeah. then you have to take it head on. And the best option is to go to the agency which is formed by media itself. Okay. Not to go to the prime minister of the country or some government agency or even uh, the law enforcing agencies, but to go to media itself. And I think this was the best option for me. Because okay. I know that uh, through my research of 30 years in CSIR, I know that media intensely affects minds of the people. Mm -hmm. They shape the minds of the people. And even if they cannot affect people for a longer period of time, but for short periods, definitely they can influence opinion of the people. Yeah. And are you happy with uh, the ruling of the NBSA? I'm very happy. I'm very happy for two reasons. Reason number one is that everybody who supported me during this period, whether the international community which came and stood with me, mm -hmm. I received uh, letters uh, of support from 29 countries oh. uh, in overnight almost. From when you filed the complaint or from when it happened? No, from when it happened. Oh, 29 uh, countries. From 29 countries. These are my colleagues. These are my peers mm. all across uh, the globe. Mm. Uh, those who are working in the field of uh, science communication. Mm. And uh, they reacted very sharply. Mm. I received about 5,000 uh, supporting letters. Okay. As uh, opposed to how many hate mails? Eight males were not as many. No, okay. no, I didn't count them. There was more <laughs> support. Uh, absolutely, and that gave me the strength to stand. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm very thankful to Vrinda Grover, who stood like a pillar with me, and uh, Sharmila Tagoreji, and Shubham Mudkal, and Sayyid Second Asai. set of complainants. Yes, and and Ashok Vajpayee ji. Uh, it wasn't easy for them also, mm. but they are the conscience of the society. Yeah. I think that's why they stood. I'm very happy for this reason that it's not my victory only. It's a victory of the tradition of Mashaira. It's victory of my friends across the globe and within the country. And that makes me very happy and that makes all of them very happy. I've been receiving again letters of support and uh, happiness. The other reason is much more important in my opinion, mm. that as a citizen, how do you know that you are living in a democratic society? Mm. You are not living in a monarchy where somebody says that your head should be, you should be beheaded and your head is cut. Mm. That doesn't happen, right? So, I would know only through the institutions that I can approach, mm. that I live in democratic society and my rights are protected. Mm. Now, if democratic institutions stop working, if I have a complaint, I go to media, yeah. they don't take it up. Mm. Instead, they do something what they did with me. Mm. Where do I go? There is no Raja. There is no Nawab that I can approach. So, it took almost a year for them to act on your complaint. Did you expect? Were you expecting for anything to happen? Like you just said, what if they don't do anything? Was, was that happening in your mind over the years? No, despite the fascistic trends that are very obvious in our country at the moment, and these are very dangerous trends, our institutions are still solid. Mm. It will take a lot of time for fascist forces to corrode them. Mm. And therefore, I was very confident that I will get justice. And we will stand together and we will get justice. That's what has happened. This order not only has reinforced our confidence in, in the system and democratic institutions that I was talking about, mm -hmm. that a person like me, an ordinary citizen, mm -hmm. could go to these uh, institutions for re redress. Well. And that is how we know that we are living in a democracy. Mm -hmm. See, this order is a historic order. Such a strong order has not been passed even by the court. Mm. 
और एन बी एस ए अप टिल नाउ या सिमिलर ऑर्डर्स आर देर बट इट्स अ स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑर्डर स्टेटिंग दैट दिस शुड बी द लैंग्वेज ऑफ अपॉलोजी up till now it is not been done yes they specifically it, stated just to tell our viewers what uh, the nbsa yeah. has told z to do is on september 8 at 9 o'clock uh, z news has been asked to uh, issue an apology to you what are the specifics of it if you could explain see big fonts mm. big visible fonts and slow and clear voice over mm. it should be read it has to be up at 9 o'clock which is prime time prime time and that is why 9 o'clock mm. most people see any channel mm. during this period yes. earlier what was happening that they publish a report which they know that strong mm. concocted and then you publish it on a page which is very very visible mm. next day you publish an apology of one line in small fonts yeah in some corner right some corner of the newspaper this has been happening for ages in yeah. fact in india the same trend was adopted by television mm. that whenever they have apologized that they have uh, aired a wrong report then a small sticker somewhere will flash and go away and they'll say record and they'll say we have apologized mm. the members knew that is this is happening and this is how they get scot free so in that sense this is going to be a historic and it, is it, it going is to set going, a precedent for it is going to set a precedence anybody who approaches nbsa or court mm. now onwards this would be the president that this is the minimum that you have to do so the apology has to be loud and clear loud and clear i think they can't uh, reverse the process the harm that they have done to me mm. or to many others they can't do that but at least visibly and audibly uh, noticeable apology should be there also uh, z news in response to your complaint said that uh, their show was truthful and factually correct but uh, also said that the show also went on to show how when people complain about not having freedom of expression speech and expression in our country this is an example of how people are still exercising uh, that right so what do you have to say about that defense of the channel see one that uh, it's very clear that the ruling has come that they were wrong hmm. so that has been their position before i complain when i complained to them they responded with the same argument and they have placed the same argument before nbsa mm. nbsa has rejected it mm. so it's very clear that they were wrong now they have a democratic right to go to the court that is one option mm. which some of the papers and um, websites have reported yeah uh, like Uh, mint and uh, like you said mint and indian express has reported that, reported uh, that they are contemplating they have reached out to mr choudhry sudhir choudhry and right he has said that uh, the channel will look to fight it uh, legally they legally. will try to either get a stay or challenge the uh, nbsa's ruling so in that in in an event that the channel does not apologize and asks for a stay or challenges the order what is your way forward see i am amazed that a channel is uh, s- being a member of uh, nba mm. uh, saying such a thing i am amazed because of only one thing suppose both of us agree to make a body and then say that we will abide by uh, we are both members of that body and we will abide by instructions of that and then i say no 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 i don't want to it is uh, it is hilarious in fact as far as i am concerned it's their body it's not my body mm. true they are a member mm. they have created the channels came together created a body and said that we'll follow rules regulations that is how you become member mm. uh, and now when the body says that you have not followed rules you are saying that we'll go to court court is not your body court is created by indian constitution 
somewhere else. So you don't abide by the rules and regulations of the body that you have created instead you are going to the court which is hilarious in fact this uh, I can't understand but they have a right to go there we'll see what we will do so will you be also go moving forward with the defamation suit I don't think that I want to go beyond this limit if they apologize mm -hmm. if they uh, are penalized that is more than sufficient as far as I am concerned I am I've done this in order to reinforce confidence in the Constitution mm -hmm. in the democratic structures of the country and uh, to, to give a confidence to people like me ordinary people like me that they can go to certain bodies if their rights are violated mm -hmm. I think that this is much more uh, important and a much bigger victory than anything which is monetary. I, I don't think that I'm going to pursue it, no. So in, in an event that they don't apologize, you will still leave it there? I think that we have made the point mm. uh, and uh, it is now NBSA and, and between the channel. The and the channel. We may complain, we may indicate, uh, I'll consult my lawyer that they have not followed this. Mm. What needs to be done? What should NBSA do? Mm. Are they doing something or not? We may say all those things, but I don't think that I would like to be proactive now to go to higher authorities. Okay. Uh, not right now. I'm not contemplating that. Okay. And uh, one last question. Uh, in your complaint, you also stated that uh, the channel uh, failed to air your version of the story. Uh, if they had to say something uh, to the extent of what they did, uh, they didn't get your version. They didn't broadcast your version. So if you could tell us what is your version to what they uh, broadcast. It's very simple. What they have done is wrong. <laughs> Completely wrong. They violated my rights to be a normal citizen of the country and live peacefully in this beautiful land. They jeopardized my life. They jeopardize security of my family. And it's not that I am talking in the air. Dabulkar was killed mm -hmm. for his views. Yeah, true. Kalbargi was murdered in his house. They just entered. So if you go out after uh, a channel and a powerful Hindi channel has done something like this, you could be killed on the street, you could be killed on a pan shop, you could be killed on, on a vegetable shop. If you go to the market, somebody may just get excited and... and have and there eat. been instances like that when you go out, have... have not have with not with me. People recognize me on the roads, etc. Mm. But uh, in case of Kalbarki, yes, mm. they came home yeah. on a motorcycle, killed him. Mm. Pansare was killed. Yeah. So it's, it's... This whole subcontinent has seen intense cases of hate where people have been killed by those who don't know them. Mm. Twelve people have been killed in Bangladesh just because of hate campaign. Six people have been killed in Pakistan just because of the hatred. And I'm not talking about political people. I'm not talk talking about political assassination. Mm. Just because they were poets, rationalists, science communicators mm. and three of our luminaries the stalwarts have been killed by these goons people like me and you have created have nurtured have saved democracy in india we are an island where humanity is conducting in my opinion a beautiful experiment these are aberrations but they have to be fought mm. They will become norm tomorrow. Mm. Mob lynching will become norm in India. It's norm in Pakistan, it's norm in Bangladesh. We are surrounded by those kinds of places. Tomorrow it becomes norm, norm in India. Z channel shouting at the top of, of their voice against an ordinary citizen. How can I fight? So I have to fight today. Yeah. Before they get into that mode. So now we are waiting for September 8th and very eagerly waiting, waiting for September. Waiting and watching what the channel I is. I hope to do. that sense will prevail. They will apologize. 
and this apology is not only for me this is to reinforce confidence in media in democratic structure within the country among the common citizen okay thank you so much for talking to news laundry and thank you so much for taking time out thank, thank you, you. Thank, thank you for inviting me